getting my drone all of a sudden I'm getting this motor speed error oh man first it was like the propellers now a motor speed error you know what I'm saying it says to bring it down so I can't risk it but it has a motor speed error it's giving out an error for the motor that really sucked I got a motor speed error. So motor speed error, land and return home promptly. After powering off, aircraft replaced the propeller on the beeping ESE. So it's telling me that it's something with the propellers. I just swiped this propellers not too long ago. So I guess I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna see which one is beeping and I'm gonna mark it. And you guys ever get this error, let's see if changing the propellers uh, fixes it. So let me land this boy. Let me land them. As you guys can see, got the error, motor speed error. So we go into the street, it says that it's beeping, the what, whichever motor it is, is beeping. So, all right, this is not vibrating. Yep. See how it twists this when I touch it? Yeah, I could definitely feel that vibration when I touch this motor. So it's this back, left-hand side motor. Touch this one, nice and cool. See, everything's moved smooth. Very nice. This one, yep, is giving me vibration. It kind of bounces up and down like a beeper inside. It's just letting me know it's this motor that's messed up and it's asking me to change the propellers. So I think I got a pair at home. I'm gonna change them when I get home and see what happens. This really sucks. You hear it beeping and look at the way it shakes. Look at the way it shakes. See that see the propeller shake? These don't shake. Look at this one shake. So it's letting me... All right, guys, so I have the Mavic Mini here. I started doing a little research and I find out that it's been going on a lot. This new motor era has been going out a lot because uh, the new firmware update. Now the previous problems I had, I put a video on it when it was like uh, I was getting the errors and the drone was dropping a lot. So two or three weeks ago, I replaced all the propellers because you know I was told to do that and it worked. Now this time after I do it, did the update, the firmware update, to like the zero five hundred, my first flight it starts doing this motor errors. Now it's not doing this, not dropping or nothing, but it's just doing that, you know. And it's like preventing me. I mean, it's just an, an, a nuisance, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm hearing that it's just certain aspects of the new firmware that it just isolates. Like you guys saw, it isolates where the problem is coming from. But at the same time, I'm hearing a lot of comments that it's happening a lot after the firmware update and these propellers. A new I mean these I just swapped like three weeks ago they're fairly new there's also comments that the almost everybody's having this problem had the case has the combo and the combo as you see the propellers get squished down especially the bottom ones and that's where the back part is giving me errors because of this lump right here first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the propellers make sure they're all right and like I said before they're fairly new so if they look good, next step is recommended is to refresh the firmware. So that new firmware I put that I did it over the phone with the remote, this time I'll do it from the computer with um, the DJI Assistant software that you can download and I'll leave it in the description. And that will give you the chance to refresh or reinstall the firmware. So I'm gonna refresh it. And then the last thing I'm gonna try to do is, you know, after any time you do a firmware update, do what is called an IMU calibration that calibrates the IMU, which is those little sensors that keep the drone nice and steady when it's in the air. So you want that shit to be nice and calibrated, you know? Excuse my French. So let's give that a try and see what happens. Okay, with my Mac, try to install it, let's install. I agree, it's 970 megabytes. You put in your password, it's gonna ask for it, and install it. I look for that Mavic Assistant or whatever it's called. It goes DJI Assistant. That's the way it looks. Double click on that. This is going to come in. They want us to confirm. We agree. Agree. And agree. And product improvement. I hit no for now. Now it's asking me to connect my Mavic Mini. So you do is. Get a USB 
and connecting my mini. So right now I have it in this right here. It's connected to my mini right here. So let's just connect your Mavic Mini to the computer. So what I did was I uh, rebooted the Mavic Mini and reconnected and uh, boom, this comes up all of a sudden. Connect the devices, you see here, you see the Mavic Mini. So we're gonna click. And right now it says the current is zero four five hundred. So you know what? You hit here and, re and you refresh it and go through the whole process. I already did it, but that's what you have to do. If that doesn't work, some people recommend to like download this one and reverse it to the old one, and then come back, reboot, get back into it again, do the same process as that again, and then hit download on the five hundred and reinstall it. But I just hit refresh. And that should work. I mean, I think, you know, that's a good refreshment. You know, so it doesn't work, then I go back and do the, uh, you know, the downgrade and the, the upgrade again. But I just did the refresh and it seemed to go smooth. So that's it. Come in here, you hit refresh. And you should be good. So here I have the drone. It's ready. So I checked the props. They're fairly new, like I said before. I just switched these like three months ago. I mean, like three weeks ago. So they're fairly new. So this is the one that was beeping. I tighten it up, make sure nothing was loose. They look good. So I updated the firmware the way you guys did. And the last thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna do an IMU calibration. So right now I have here the app. So let's go here to the three dots right here. And here we go to, we go to safety, scroll down. And you're going to see here the IMU, see that, compass, normal, calibrate, crap. So we're going to calibrate the IMU. So before we calibrate it, let's do this. I'm going to take our drone, boom, doing this with one hand. And we're going to close out the props. The reason I'm doing it this way because I'm working one hand. I got the camera in the other. Boom, nice and easy. Now, come here and let's start decalibration. I am you. So it says to leave it this way. Here we are. Put it on this way. And let's hit start. Let's wait on it. Now it says to put it this way. Sorry. You wait on it. Now it's saying to put it backwards, lead back this way. So we do that. And we wait. Now it says to put it this way. Baboo. Leave it like so. Wait it out. And now it's going to stand it up. So let's stand this baby up like that. Hopefully it won't flip over. And then let's just wait. And now it says to put it this way. And it says calibration sucks successful. Beautiful. So it kind of disconnected from the from the RC, but boom, it connected again. There goes the camera. So we good. That's it. IMU successfully done. It's as easy as that. So now let's take this baby out for a flight and test it out. All right, guys. In the Go Fly app. So let's take this drone out for a spin. I'll take it out of the car. Here yeah, I am. Doing my thing. All right successfully calibrated it's a beautiful day in new york city about 76 degrees so it's gorgeous out there look how beautiful it looks so let's turn this baby on hopefully now fly it for a little while i'm just gonna turn on the motors and then i could just start recording here i don't know should i do a recording here also video recording and why not so let's take them up. Go 
Home point has been updated. No Please check it updated. on the map. Beautiful skies, you know. What a beautiful clear day. Not a not a cloud in the sky. How beautiful this is. So right now. Say I'm about 1.2 meters from me and 28 meters above me. So let's make it 30, 30 meters. It's about 90 feet, a little over 90 feet. And let's take him for a spin. See what happens. So let's take him. Eh, let's go this way now. What a beautiful view. This is one of the biggest, probably the biggest cemetery in New York. So let's go towards the the hotel over there. Now I got a strong wind warning, which is good. It's very good. I like that. Because I want to see if that happens again. For over 15 minutes now, you know, a lot of shots up and down shots. Vertical shots, the whole nine, and she's been strong. But I think we're done. I think we're done. Landing. That's it. I got about what? 18 minutes, 17, 18 minutes out of it. Battery, you know, just went down on its own 20%. I just landed it, no problem. So, just to show you that it was a firmware, a hiccup with a firmware. All right, guys, sorry about the mask, but I see a lot of runners running side to me, no mask. I'm in New York City, so, you know, I got to protect myself. But that being said, guys, it's a go. It worked. First thing I did, I checked the propellers, make sure nothing was loose. Being that the propellers were only three weeks old, you know what I'm saying, I figured it can't be that. So I checked them. They were nice and tight. Number two, I went, got a firmware refresh because I already had updated the firmware. I did a firmware refresh. Some people recommend to do a downgrade, then a, another upgrade, but I didn't want to go through all that. I just did the refresh. It went through. Beautiful. Then I did an IMU update. That thing I did, you know, so we twist the drone. It's in the video. And that's it. Took it out for a flight. Now, when I was doing my research, I noticed that a lot of people that are having that problem with this drone also have the combo package, meaning with the extra batteries with this right here the case and if you look at the case where you put the the drone at you see this lump that it has this is the part that is supposed to have the the drone the meaning see that lump right there because you see what happens here once you push it in see how it see how it pushes the propellers down if you that little box that you saw right here that little uh see that little lump in the case right there that little lump when you put the drone like this, the propeller kind of like squeeze. This lump squeezes the propellers. And I think that's a problem because it's always the backside that has the problems. It's always the backside. So a little solution that I found for now was like bringing in the propellers like this. Sticking it like this. Don't stick them in like this so it could push down. So push them in like this. Like put them close to each other like this. Into your case ever so slightly. Boom. Done. That worked for me. Hopefully that works for you. Till next time, you know, these COVID days, your boy Jeff. See ya.